Get the typical morning routine today. Wake up early, about 5.30 a.m. Coffee, read, journal, work. That's about it. I don't have a huge morning routine anymore. Honestly, I just kind of wake up and get right to it. I found that that actually works best for me. Instead of delaying with meditation, all these things. Not that those aren't helpful. I think a lot of people need those, and there's times in my life where I do need those. But when I'm extremely busy with work and life and training and goals and all this stuff, sometimes it helps me to just actually just get started when I get started I get ahead and that's the most important thing so I woke up today did a bunch of work one of those things was writing handwritten notes to our clients which is why I'm at the post office right now I'm gonna drop all these packages off and essentially um, I do this every single week I handwrite cards to our members and uh, as the CEO I would rather delegate other stuff behind the scenes that I can so that I can do shit like this talk to members message members reach out to members write notes and give gifts to members things like that because that shit matters so I'm gonna go drop these off and then we're gonna head to the HQ link up with Travis get started grinding for the day So my mind on a run At times I feel I can't get enough But I sip a double cup and I spend a couple bucks go see how fat I am or lean we'll find out time to get a desk stand we are still in uh, what we would consider a gaining slash holding phase which is kind of like the phase before you jump into the diet and now we're gonna go actually get to DEXA which will be like the first body fat testing for this entire journey so the goal is to see where I'm at right now from a body fat and a muscle perspective and then see where I will be at come October when I actually step on the stage if you're gonna do it the gold standard is DEXA so I wanted to get a comparison between two so I can show you but now we'll be able to see how lean am I how much body fat do I have what's normal you guys will see my physique throughout this process you'll be able to really see what that looks like visually as well as on a number and then we have a good starting point to see where we want to get to by the end of this so let's go scan my body fat open my hidden zipper of my new tailored life apparel shorts pretty damn excited about these if you didn't know hold up i need at least one more rock star for the road oh damn dude what time is it i gotta eat a meal too Travis, we're gonna eat and drive. Number one tip when you're prepping for anything or trying to lose weight, eat your meal before you drive. I learned that from Danny DeVito on Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah. Isn't that episode? Dennis is eating cereal while driving. Oh, I'm freaking bite. He gets in a car accident. No. Go to court and they don't know who's in the wrong. Was Dennis in the wrong because he was eating cereal while driving? Or was Danny DeVito in the wrong like he did a California stop? He didn't stop all the way. Actually, interesting fact about this cotton. It's the world's most resistant and softest cotton. It's gonna help eczema, it cures all kinds of skin issues. I mean, it's legitimately, it's like wearing lotion 24 seven. Your spouse is gonna wanna rub on you more, makes you tanner, some gold inside of it. It's made out of gold. It really is the sickest stuff ever. Let's just, while this is microwave and we can just sit here. This is gonna be a game changer. Not that we're the first ones to do it ever, but the details on it are sick. Here we go. I am so tired of wearing sweatshirts and sweat shorts, and then I take them out of the dryer, and this is just in the dryer, because the drawstring comes out of it, and then you're fucked. Every clothing brand runs into these issues. That was part of the reason why we took a step back, and we are like, let's figure this stuff out, because there's so many little things you gotta be careful of. So when I got samples, I put this metal little drawstring, I fucking dried it on high like four times, made sure it didn't shrink, made sure the color didn't fade. I like was like, these are good, now let's order in bulk, and then you can figure those things out as you go, so you don't run into the issue, but yeah, these are fine. These aren't gonna go if you're going down, down, get you someone new. So this morning I took my weight. So I weighed myself, and when I weigh myself, it pulls up all the data onto my phone, which makes it really easy because I can just show the camera what you saw this morning. Like, boom, I'm at 177 pounds. We're on the way to Dexas, so we'll find out. I would guess I'm in between. 10 and 14 percent body fat this scale told me 23 percent body fat which is horseshit there's no way that's true and we're gonna find out the dexa scan will be much more accurate because i'm gonna lay in this machine and it's gonna actually do an x-ray like software that is gonna tell me what my body fat is my skeletal mass my muscle tissue water density everything much more accurate it's the gold standard for everyday people it's still not 100 percent accurate because you can see variations in it and fluctuations in it but the point in this video that i really wanted to document was me stepping on the scale you guys can see my weight you can see the data from my app that tells me how much body fat I have. Now we're gonna go to DEXA, which is the gold standard, and we're gonna be able to see what the DEXA says I'm at in relevance and contrast to that scale that I stepped on this morning. 
What's your name? Cody. I just read that. So. Okay. We're going to keep it inside the box. Head down here. How long is this? Yeah. Roughly seven minutes. I'm going to get you this way. Just to put it in. Turn your legs inward so your toes touch. Perfect. Thank you, man. Definitely different than the bathroom scale. He was literally dead on. I pulled up my shirt and said, guess my body fat percentage. All right. We got the results. Maybe we'll lay these out and get a good shot and bring them up on the screen here for you in a sec. But it's really cool. It takes everything. I mean, literally water, mass, bone, fat, everything. I had him guess my body fat percentage. I told him what we were doing. I told him that I wanted him to guess because he's done a bunch of these. And I lifted up my shirt, said, yeah, like, tell me what you think I'm at. And he said, I would guess somewhere between 10 and 15, which I said 10 and 14 when we were on our way. The bathroom scale told me 23 point something. We'll pull that up as well. I am 15%. It shows 15.5. 2% total. Basically, I'm like 14 across the board. My legs, my trunk, my arms, everything is at 14%. And then my head is 25%. The reason I'm even at 15 is because my brain is so big. Just joking. You can cut that out. It's really good information for people too, because number one, the bathroom scale was literally 8% higher. It told me I was 23%. I'm lean for an average person. I would guess I would step on stage between like six and 8%. Now, the interesting thing will be is I purchased three DEXA scans. So we just did one. We will do another one in like three to four months, and then we'll do another one in six months because I'm stepping on stage in October. So I have two more DEX scans, which means we'll be able to compare these. But my goal is to maintain the, as much muscle mass as I possibly can because I have that on here and lose as much body fat. I'm going to do it in the same exact scenario. Try to mock and mimic the exact same setting as I can. The reality is the DEXA is the gold standard. Your weight scale, your handheld one in body, they suck. So if you really want your body fat percentage to be tested, do this without insurance that costs $75. So not too crazy. Test your body fat if you want. BMI is not that important. Body fat percentage, muscle mass, that stuff is. That's the scoop. We got a lot of volume in this program right now, but it's all geared towards men's physique. So when we're talking about body composition change, the specificity aspect is more volume focus. So take more of your volume and put it towards the muscle groups that you are trying to accentuate. So being in men's physique, and that's what I'm striving to compete in, we're looking at upper chest, lats, rear delts, because that helps that V shape. So today's gonna be mainly just delts and arms, but a lot of upper back and rear delts because we want to get that three dimensional delt. Usually I use an app right now. I'm doing everything off Google Sheets because I'm actually beta testing programs. So this program will be live in the Taylor Trainer app. Tons of volume, volume is the key driver of hypertrophy. We're mainly focused on that V taper shape. There's one thing I've really learned since starting this prep that I wanna like really, we will end the video with and push towards you watching this is you have more in the tank. You can probably push harder than you are. If you're using any type of reps in reserve or RPE scare or anything, you're probably not going as far on it as you think you are. I'm extremely sore. I'm an advanced lifter. This week I am sore because I pushed it. I did more weight, more volume, pushed the reps. I feel great, but I feel it. Like it, it's brutal. And it just goes to show that like you always have a little bit more. You are in control of everything that goes on with your results because your effort is the key driver. Your attitude your energy, everything revolves around what you put into it. And I'm putting a lot into this and it's already showing, it's already paying off and I can literally feel the difference of giving that extra like one to 5%. So if there's anything that I want you to take away from watching these videos, it's just go a little bit further. Give yourself one to 5% more. Just push a little bit harder. You will get so much more out of what you're doing. Push yourself, give yourself one more rep and you will be a completely different person in a year if you have that attitude every single day. Thank you for watching the video. Like the video. Comment below if you have any questions. I can help you in any way. Subscribe to the channel so you keep updated with every video we drop. We'll catch you next time.